The thing that was impressed me is, is how they played. You know, we stayed off the ground. We practiced the way we want to practice. There was only one kid that took somebody to the ground. We're not tackling yet. We only get a certain amount of days where we can tackle and practice, but we, we need to practice, and I thought our kids did a really, really good job of being disciplined. They played, came with a lot of enthusiasm, so it was a good day. Defense wins the day. Defense won a day. The final score was, it was 97. I know Rob wants it. Yes, sir. Uh, final score. 97-84 defense. So they'll wear the black jerseys till the next time we go to a competition day. Dior Mathis made a couple plays there on the defense. Yeah, Dior Mathis is showing up. I, I, all three of those young kids, Dior Mathis, Scales, and, and um, Terrence Mitchell, have really, you know, for being freshmen that just got here. You know, I said it the other day. They were last Friday. They were in a hot lunch line at their high school, and then all of a sudden they're in a college class and they're playing college football. And they haven't missed a. You know, it's really. It's a lot of times I could see kids kind of that deer in the headlight look and be afraid, but those guys aren't afraid, and they and they they're showing up. And then you know, it, it's great that they got here for the spring. It'll give them an opportunity. You know, when we get to next fall, they won't be freshmen when preseason camp starts next year. They kind of, they'll be a little bit older than those kids because of the maturity that they got from this. But I, I'm impressed with all three of those guys. Who's proud of uh, uh, competition between Darren and uh, It's ongoing. So. Are you satisfied with the yeah, they're moving. Practice three. You know, they made some mistakes, but they make some good plays. You know, you just got to, we'll go in and watch tape after this and get an idea of where we got to do and make corrections and see where we're going. But they're both progressing pretty good right now. So, LaMichael, I mean, he's got a whole season under his belt. Is there a veteran presence there at all? Yeah, he, he's got a better understanding. He's not getting lined up. He's trying to get other guys lined up. You know, he's got a better grasp of what we're doing offensively because he got that season underneath his belt. Um, you know, he looks like he's a little bit a step quicker than he was last year. You can kind of see that. And he hit a couple things today that, you know, Really, you know, kind of solidify why he's the type of player that he is. You got a week of Eddie Pleasant moving positions. What do you see out of him? I think Eddie's been there. really solid. You know, that that transition has been great for us. We have a lot of depth at linebacker. Um, you've seen Baseko Lacumbo making plays, and Michael Clay, and Casey, and Spence, and those guys. And to be able to move Eddie to the secondary has just bolstered us back there, especially with Javis and Marvin being out right now. You know, playing Eddie and John at safety. If we had to play a game today, I'd be very. Uh, you know, really comfortable with what we got for our safety positions. But we still need to get Javis and Marvin back so we can get some depth there. Yeah, about the Michael, how about Kenyon? Same. Same thing. Those two guys are two veterans. You know, you got to, uh, people kind of forget is we didn't move Kenyon to running back till halfway through spring practice last year. You know, last year at this time, he's still playing DB for us. So um, his progress, you could see him get better and better as the season went along. You know, and all of a sudden he's starting to get more reps and take advantage of it. So it's, he, uh, I'm going to both those guys. We need to find a way to get both those guys in the game and get the ball in their hands. Right? Full week of spring ball now. I like it. You know, we're ahead of where we were last year. I think our kids understand how we have to practice. We've had three good practices in a row. I think the fact that we don't practice every day in a row where we can get kind of stale, there's always going to be at least one day off, and then when we get to the weekends, two days off, they can come back and we get the maximum out of it. I think the schedule has worked out for us, the coaching staff and the players really well, and our players have bought into it. You know, we they got to work as hard as we want them to work, they're going to get a day off in between it, so it's been pretty good for us. Coach, I noticed you had a huge crowd here watching today. Do you like the guys' focus despite the crowd? Yeah, you know, that's what it's like. People want to come watch us practice. It's an awesome deal you know we're going to play music we're going to try to distract them but they they can't worry about what's going on you know and you got to prepare somewhat now this doesn't prepare them for them, but we play in the loudest stadium in the country so you know we've got to not focus on the uh, on the crowd or what's going on around us they got to be able to focus on what they're what they got to do between the white lines and um, they, they've gotten pretty good at it Coach, am I talking Gruden taking some more notes on you yeah he came he spoke at our coaches clinic okay. so we had a coaches clinic this weekend uh, Robert Weiner, who's the head coach at Tampa Plant, won the Florida State Championship, spoke. Troy Thomas, who's from Servite High School, won the California State Championship, spoke. And then John spoke. And then I think me, DP, Healthy, and Rad spoke. So he was a, kind of the keynote speaker at our, our clinic. He spoke, did a great job this morning and then you know, stuck around to watch practice. And him and uh, Coach Weiner, who's from Tampa, also will fly back tomorrow. So. What was his message? He just talked about what it is to be a coach, you know, and, and how, how he sets up practice. He's had an opportunity since he's, he's doing the television deal now to, to go to a lot of different practices. I think he was at Alabama. Um, I know he's been to Florida. I know he's been to a lot of NFL practices. And he's just taking notes and, and kind of, you know, as a observer watching what he does at different practices and just getting some ideas and studying football and tape on his own. And, you know, it, it was great to have him around. As a college coach, what do you ask the 